This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello everybody, the Douglas basketball teams had this past weekend's games at Harrisburg and Brandon Valley moved to February 16th and 17th due to the weather. Now this evening the Patriots returned to the court to take on Pier. The boys game was played in Pier. This is the girls matchup in Box Elder. Second quarter, the uh, Governor's Ryan Berry dishes to Reese Terwilliger and she knocks down the three pointer. Pier entered this game with a strong six and two record. Patriots up by 14. Coley Cruz cuts into the lead as she drives all the way in and scores. The freshman getting the job done out there. The Govs then get the ball to Lennox Debris. She uses the screen and drains a three-pointer. Pier went into the locker room with the lead. Third quarter, 42-23 Governors. Douglas misses the shot. Ramsey Johnson grabs the rebound, puts it home. But this game belongs to the Pier girls as they improved to 7-2 with a 65-44 victory. The Governors won the boys game 64-37. Now elsewhere in Girls Hoop, St. Thomas Moore defeated Lee Deadwood 48 to 12. Hill City knocked off Belfouche 49 42. The Wakpala girls picked up a 52 30 victory over McIntosh. Phillip Cruz passed New Underwood 48 14. In Boys Hoops, Little Wound defeated Red Cloud 64 54. St. Thomas Moore knocked off Lee Deadwood 67 to 49. The Lemon Boys took care of Harding County 52 24. White River down Phillip 62 to 38. The South Dakota Vines men's and women's basketball teams picked up big wins against Western Colorado last Friday. The Lady Hard Rockers took care of business, winning 73-62. Piper Bauer had another big game as she led the way with 26 points. She was red out from beyond the arc, connecting on six of eight three-pointers. The Mines men won by the score of 81-66. Cameron Cohn poured in 26 points. Keegan Smith also chipped in with 20 of his own. Both Hard Rocker squads returned to the court this weekend when they play at Westminster and Colorado Mesa. Meanwhile, it was a good weekend for the Badlands Sabres as they swept a pair of games in Sheridan. The Sabres are now 12-5-6 on the season and hold down fifth place in the Frontier Division. Sabres have this weekend off before hosting the Sheridan Hawks on January 26th and 27th. And first-year head coach Brooks Mitzel knows it's time for his team to turn things on and try and earn a playoff spot. We're going to have to get a point in, you know, every game or, um, you know, set ourselves up, um, you know, points wise to, to get into that playoff mix. And it was a huge four points this weekend because we have a weekend off this weekend, but and then Sheridan comes down here. Um, so we're, we're neck and neck with them right now. And in that sense, it was huge. Our guys know it too. They, you know, they're, they're playing with a sense of urgency right now. They're almost playing like it's playoff hockey right now. It's time now for another edition of Big Old Fish. And tonight, Mason Brooks is our featured angler. Mason reeled in this nice looking northern pike out of Sheridan Lake. Congratulations, Mason, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the submit photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in and we'll get you on Big Old Fish. Nice looking at Northern Pike there from Mason. Get the job done and got himself on Big Old Fish. And I got to give props to you, Vic. That was a very good Big Old Fish on your part. Well, we do what we can. We do what we can out there. And I do have some more high school basketball scores See for you tonight, Phil. Boys High School Basketball, Jones County knocked off Kadoka 63-50. to That was part of the West River Tournament. Hyannis beat Edgemont 58-32. Wakpala over McIntosh 68-42. And I'm glad to see you're still standing after the weekend of NFL playoff football, Vic. Didn't go well for my Cowboys <laughs> on uh, Sunday, but the next batch of NFL playoff games coming up this weekend. Saturday, you can see Ravens and Texans at 2 over on KOTA. And then right here on Black Hills Fox, Saturday night, 49ers and the Packers. That should be a good one. Thank you, Vic. We'll be right back.